what's going on guys welcome back to the channel I usually don't highlight crazy comments I remember uh, Wrangler Star he used to have a segment where he would highlight crazy comments he would go through eight or ten comments of just crazy things that people posted to his videos in response to his videos and I had decided a long time ago not to do that but this morning I got up and I went and checked the comments on my YouTube videos and I saw this comment here and it just uh, I'll pop it up on the screen here in a second so you can all can read it along with me and it was just so ridiculous that I had to read it again and then I read it again and every time I would read it it would just seem more ridiculous it seems that in my last video about 10 things that 10 reasons that preppers some preppers will die first and it was in response to that video and I'm post, apparently I had uh, stepped on someone's toes. They had what they thought was a survival plan to bug out to the woods to live. And that was the point that uh, they took offense to. But anyway, guys, he posted this comment. says, uh, I stopped watching your video after you said people that run into the woods will be the first to die. That's stupid. There's only two places people can go, the city or the woods. Most people will die in the cities. People's best bet is to go into the woods and stay away from all people. People are the biggest danger to other people. Animals live fine in the woods. Just become an animal. Eat bugs, leaves, plants, whatever to stay alive. Staying in a city is the worst mistake people can make. And if you think people need to own their own land in the middle of nowhere, that's stupid too. Most people don't own land like that. So again, best thing to do is go off into the wilderness as far away from people and be armed and have the knowledge to survive anywhere in the wild. And then some guy here responded back, exactly, guy's an idiot. So what is the logic to that comment? Apparently someone is planning on going into the woods to live and sadly this person most likely has no experience at all you can tell by reading the comment he had no experience at all in actually surviving in the woods before you start posting comments like that or planning on bugging out to the forest to live you need to actually go do it for a while go out into the forested areas especially in the dead middle of winter time which is the hardest time to actually survive and go live in the woods for a month just take what's in your bug out bag and go out to the forest and don't take any food with you at all just what you can pack in your bug out bag and live for a couple of months and see how well that plan works out for you and this is during good times try it during bad times when everything is collapsing people were starving people were out in the people are out trying to hunt for deer squirrel rabbit pheasant quail and they're out trying to hunt and trap for food and you're out there trying to live and there's gonna be people in the woods and you'll pass by most likely if you're still alive if you don't die uh, dehydration or hypothermia you'll be passing by and someone will be out there hunting with the 22 and pop you in the head one shot you're down he'll take your weapon he'll take your bug out bag and your gear and he'll be on his merry little way but just right now with no big chance of that actually happening right now go out in the forest and actually live Live on the leaves, as you said, to eat, and the twigs and stuff or whatever, and see how well that works out for you. That's the dumbest plan, and it's been regurgitated over and over and over again in survival movies and videos. It just keeps, it just keeps going and going. It's the, it's the bad advice that never seems to go away it's the stupidest idea that you can come up with and the least likely to actually be able to survive long term if you are experienced in the wilderness you might make it for a little while if you have caches of gear here and there in different locations food and gear and things you might make it for a little while but before you start making such plans based on nothing but fantasy you need to actually go out Take your bug out bag and go out and live for just two weeks and try it. Two months would be even better. To see how long you can make it on your own in the wilderness, eating leaves, 
bugs, whatever you can find to eat. Most people have no idea. The most of the people that are posting comments like that, you could tell that commenter really had no idea what they were talking about. They were just spouting off. And the one down below, this guy's an idiot. Uh, okay, prove me wrong. Go out in the forest and actually live. Live for a month, live for two months. Take just what you can carry in your bug out bag and see how well that works out for you. But anyway, guys, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Be sure to, if you think somebody else would like this video, be sure to share this video with those people. If you haven't subscribed yet, be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications and notify each time that I upload a new video. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I'm going to creep more. I'm out of here.